up, y'all? I'm Jimmy. And I'm Lachey. And, and we're, we're day, day drinking, drinking on a Wednesday. Wednesday. Welcome. Welcome to Wine and Cheese Wednesday. So. Second episode. Episode two. Just want to say thank you guys for watching our first one. Mm-hmm. Much love. Thank and you. we received great feedback on things about wine and things about cheese. So here we are awesome. again. So we learned a couple lessons. Mm-hmm. Um, how to pair. Somewhat. Shout out, Tom. Shout out, Tom. Much love. Um, so today we have a Parmesan, age 24 months, chosen by me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I chose it because I like a dry red, and I knew that, and I really like Parmesan, and I knew that they went well together, but I also had that suggested to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so we will start giving you tips throughout the videos about how we paired things. So we can't really give you a how to pair because there's so many different options, so many cheeses. There are some general tips, which after Lachey explains why she chose her cheese, we'll give you said tips. But also, like, we're not pros, so we can't <laughs> really close. tell you the whole down low of how to Our pair. Our wine glasses don't even have stems. Like, are we yeah, even, do we I even know. Wine, bro? Um, my friend Janelle, she's going to yell at me. For not having proper wine glasses. Um, she's very big into wine glasses, so don't yell at me too much to know. <laughs> but here we are. So, uh, this cheese is called a. So it's from France. Okay, so it's a French cheese. I do not know how to pronounce it, but it's pretty much Tome de Brevis Fleurs. I hope someone out there speaks French. <laughs> I, I, if I had to completely guess on what it means, Tome, T-O-M-M-E, I believe is the type of cheese. And then the De Bebris Flos is like from dried flowers. Because I looked this cheese up and on the outside rind is like dried flowers. So, yeah, don't know if that's true at all. Could have totally been making that up. But the reason I chose that cheese is because after I chose the manchego from the last episode, I took about six steps and stopped and looked, and it was so cute. So I picked it up. Yep. That was that. Was that. And so that really helped me pair the wines and the cheeses. Mm -hmm. Great help. Mm -hmm. You're um, welcome. And so she still doesn't know what kind of cheese it is. We obviously read the name, yep. but like we don't know what it is. Uh, so be soft. adventurous. Softer cheese, yeah. like last time. So we just Googled the name and said what pairs well with it, which is never a bad thing to do. Yep. Um, but we are trying to, uh, we are the classy degenerates, so we're trying to give you some class, and we'll be the degenerates for you. Mm -hmm. So we read that Chardonnay pairs well with it. Yep. So today is the episode of the Josh. Of the Josh. I wanted to try red. It's a red blend. Mm -hmm. Which is this one? She didn't know what she wanted, but the cheese said Chardonnay. So that's what we went with. Yep. And which is this one? Um, and if you guys did not watch our first episode, I do not like wine. So I don't know how to pair anything. So we're trying it out today, obviously. And yeah, this is the episode of the Josh wine. So we'll see how it goes. As you can see, we do not have any sides today except our plain flavorless crackers and our baguette crisps. We do not have any type of meats, jams, anything. So it's a true, true, true wine and cheese. And expect this to be the norm. We will pair things every now and again, but it's wine and cheese Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And like we've said in the past, we broke broke. Yeah, so, so we, we didn't can't have afford, money. We can't afford to give you to guys like this. 30 bucks every episode. No, not and, at and all. And we want you to be able to afford stuff. And you can always get like one nice cheese and like a block of cheddar that you get in the cheese. Like it doesn't have to be that serious. Yeah. We're doing And I'm actually show. glad you brought that up. So both of our cheeses are from Jungle Gyms, again. Um, but both of these wines are from Kroger. Shout out Kroger. So that's where we're at. And if I could mention two things. We got called out by a friend last episode of not finishing our wines. Yeah. Um, don't know if we can shout him out. Shout out Julio. Julio. Uh, so just know we will be finishing these wines by the end of this episode. Challenge accepted, Julio. Yeah. 
We don't care for mixing colors. Bring it. Because we're mixed. Gang. And I'm mixed. And these words are... Anyways. Um, and as you can tell by his classy tie... So, yeah, this isn't... I mean, I guess it's because of the class, but this is because I chose my outfit. This is what I'm going to wear. So Shay comes out of the bathroom looking like this. And I said, what up, bruh? Did you want to fill me in? Do you want to let me know that we're looking classy? So you know what? I classed it up. And so we started a trend. Mm -hmm. So I'm classy. She's classy. We're your classy degenerates. And we're going to make sure to actually rate each wine and each cheese not just this the first episode one. because last time we did not do that. We did the first one, but all right, let's go. Damn it. We said we weren't going to clap because of the mic. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm, you might hear a little bit of a sound difference. I don't know if I'll cut that or not, but yeah, sorry. Sorry, microphone. He gets too excited. He's so excited. I love wine and cheese. Okay, so I said last episode that I want to try the cheese solo. When we unwrapped our French soft cheese, it That's smelled. Awesome. It smelled bad. I, no, when we, it is not a we, it is a me. So he I unwrapped it, and I, was it like, <gasps> and I was in another room, and he was like, Ugh! and I was like, why? He goes, the cheese smells really bad. And I was actually kind of excited, That's because I, I kind of wanted a little bit of a stinky cheese. It's like a fart. On... It's like a fart. It's when, when your brand smells... Really bad? That's nice. You enjoy that. You want people, come smell how bad this smells. Yeah. And so, like, we want our cheese to be stinky. It's cheese. Good cheese is supposed to stink. So Apparently, yeah. We'll find out. Rate your cheeses like you rate your farts. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not that. <laughs> but I, one more thing before we start trying. Holy cow. I'm so sorry. Please we were talk also more. given a constructive criticism to link the cheeses and a list of the cheeses and wines. Well, cheeses and wines. Um, in our description. So we will be naming out both cheeses, both wines, with the link of where you can buy them. So we'll be updating that in our last description, and we'll be putting it in this description of the video. Some so. cheeses like this, we don't know what the brand is. It was, there's like a receipt. So we'll just put the name, and you can find it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, which one right. do you want to go first? I don't know. It is so I, hot in here. It is really hot. It's really hot. Our AC is out. We had people come to It's 81 it degrees in here right now. It's really hot. So. I think I, I want to start with the softer one, just like last time. Bone apple teeth. Want me teeth. to reach over you? We didn't give ourselves little plates, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, we did It's plates. It's my house. It's our house. It's my house. She smells it. She knows it stinks. It does stink. Are you not going to try it with me? Um, I guess. Okay. And, okay. We should. Do you want to drink no, first? Cheese. Yeah, we decided last time we do wine first. Oh, you guys need to pour a drink with us. Yep, pause, stop. Skrrr. Go get yourself some wine. We're gonna do, we're in this together. Pause this video right now Skrrr. and pour yourself a glass of wine. Oh, we're back. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna cheers us. Every time we cheers and every time we drink, we're all cheersing day drinking. and drinking. We're day drinking on Wednesday. So here's the to the first taste of our white wine. Screw it. It's definitely dry. Has some fruitiness to it, though. I understand what people say. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Are are you eating all of it? Yeah, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in my mouth. Really? No. <laughs> oh. Just to take a bite. Rate this, uh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, this uh, is not good. A one. Um, <laughs> maybe a point nine. I'm gonna go with point oh nine. Oh my gosh, I would have given it like a 2.3 out of five. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll say a 1.5 is mine. I would have said a, a two. 1.5. Two or 2.5. I think it'll taste better with a cracker. Yeah, like it's... It's not bad, it's just not good. It's it's the smell, it's just pungent. Yeah, the smell I think over... Like, I feel like there's hours. someone out there who is really refined with their cheese, they're gonna hear this and be like, oh, how dare you say it was a bad cheese? But like... Yeah. Like, well, I said, and we're not you're supposed not supposed to, to eat... Well, I don't know if I you know, can eat the rind. The rind. I'm not eating the rind. And for the wine... Mm. Plates. 
It I, I would rate the wine lower than the cheese. Wowzers. Okay, she yeah. just doesn't like the wine. I don't like it. I don't like it. For those who like a drier white, or for those who even like Chardonnay, I would give it a... Because I would say I'm not like a wine connoisseur by any means, but I've worked in fine dining. I've tasted nice wines. Um, Where have you worked in fine dining? In New York. Chicago Institution. He's from New York. Yeah. Um, they, she rags on me all the time for <laughs> saying that. Because like, when I tell someone a story and I say, oh yeah, I, used to, I worked in fine dining, this, and they'll say, oh, where'd you work? And then I have to say, oh, you don't know it. Well, I'm just going to say, so I lead off with, when I lived in New York, so I worked at this place. So you guys know the joke of anyone from New York always leads but I'm not off every like from conversation New York City. of, so I'm from New York, and whatever. That's him. Anyway, the Chardonnay, I would give it on a scale of one to five. And we're saying of Chardonnays, but also of my flavor. I'll give it a 3.7. It's I give good. this like a one point six. One point five. She okay. I have to pee. Definitely better better with a cracker. Or the baguette crisp. Yeah, I agree. Um, with the baguette crisp, I give the cheese a two seven. Okay, big jump. Big jump. It it's just not that great by itself. So final but. score, after multiple scores, <laughs> two seven. I'm giving mine a, a two. The, the cheese a two. I really have to pee. And now please enjoy this music while we go to commercial break, <laughs> so I can pee. And we're back! Again. <laughs> I have a small bladder. Sorry. And a small fuse. Um, so no. overall, I would say that the, that pair of the softer cheese and the white wine wasn't bad. I would say if you got one the size that we got it, a little nugget, it's worth a shot. For sure. And I Spice it up. do think that them together, I don't think I would like them separate. Or solo, but I, I don't mind them together. So we also got a nice tip about how to cleanse your palate, which we didn't. We're gonna talk about that next week because I forgot to get the item that cleanses your palate. Mm-hmm. But we do have a little educational snippet for next week's wine and cheese Wednesday of how to cleanse your palate in between trying wines and cheeses. Stay educated. Mm-hmm. Also, thanks to Tom. I was gonna shout him out next week, but okay. Oh, well, we can shout him out again. All right, so now. We are going to do the Parmigiana, and I like the bad guy, Chris, but I guess we're trying the cheese Dolo. I'll give you this little. It's a very dry, crumbly cheese. It looks like wax. It looks like candle wax. It's really crumbly. Like you peeled off candle wax. Yeah. 24 months. It smells like Parmesan. And this is obviously getting paired with the red wine, so I think we should mm-hmm. try the red wine first. Right? Is that what we did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cheers. Drink at home. <laughs> did he get a booger in this one? Ooh, I don't think I'm going to like this. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, I like it. This is the Josh Red Blend. So I actually wanted to get like a Merlot, which is specifically a red dry. So I kind of took a chance on this. This is more of a fruitier red, but it does have a dry feeling to it. I don't want to say flavor. I guess it's a flavor, but it's a blend. But I think it's still going to be a good pairing. We'll see. Well, what do I know? Hmm. It's like, it's subtle at first, and then it hits the back of your tongue, and it's just like, boom, That's strong Parmesan. Yeah, it's real strong. I like that, though. It's really good. Oh, my gosh. But, like, it comes off in chunk blocks. She actually did a pretty good job It's crumbly. Like, it was... When I was cutting it, it was just breaking off. So let's do it here. Actually, I'm gonna. I really like that. I'm gonna take one more. I'm gonna try the. Okay. Whoa, wait, wait. We gotta rate it. Yep. We Cheers. gotta rate it. Cheers. Drink. That's probably way too big of a sip for like 
trying to pair them together, but I gotta get through these wines, Julio. Um, wow, that is a good pairing. I'm gonna rate this on the Parmesans that I've had. It's hard because like we have to set a standard at some point. Yeah. And so because we're early on, I guess you could say this is a standard. But for the general cheese grade, so you guys, so everyone understands, I'm gonna give it out of a five. I'll give it a four, four flat. You give it a four flat. Wow. I think there's some better out there. Wow. It's very, very, very good. It is really good. I don't know if I would have given it a four because my four standard right now was last week's episode. They're to- two totally different cheeses, though. Yeah, you're right. I see. This is what's really hard for me with rating is because I don't like this red wine. Mm-hmm. I don't, but it goes well with the cheese. So I would drink this if I was eating the cheese, but I would never drink this solo. I think I would have to give it the same as the softer cheese. I think, no, 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 sorry. I do like the Parmesan more than the softer cheese. So I think I would give it a three. And I would give the softer cheese a two. I think I. She doesn't do any decimals. It's like all or nothing. Well, there's no gap. Because that's just too many options. There's too many options. This red wine, I would say, is like a. I think I said 1.7. No. I'm going to give this 1.5, the red wine, and I'm going to give the white wine 1.7. Soft cheese 2, Parmesan cheese 3. All right, so we need to. We'll recap at the end our grades. I really like this parmesan. Though. I think for the red, I would give it. I'd give it a three six, three point six. I think it's a nice thing. It's relatively inexpensive. It's actually very inexpensive. It's a good brand. I like all of Josh's wine. I've drinking Josh a lot. <laughs> drinking Josh. Um, I've drank Josh quite a bit, and the red blend. It's a good Wednesday night drink and watch YouTube kind of wine. I'm going to stick with my tequila and my hard apple cider. But when it comes to the cheeses, I like it. Here, wait. So this is what's rough is now we have to finish these wines. It's not that rough. I'm going to take It's rough for me because I don't like them. This is a big chunk of Parmesan. I feel like I'm in way over my head. But this Parmesan is really good. Mm-hmm. It it actually is. And I bet it tastes really good if you grate your own Parmesan to top uh, mm-hmm. meals with it. I think this would be... Just know that it is... There is a flavor. So it's not just going to be a little sub, subtle flavor. But it's good. Well, that was a lot of Parmesan. And I don't think block. I'm giving enough credit to the softer cheese. It is really stinky, though. I don't know why she keeps smelling it. No, sorry. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Gave it a pretty high grade for not liking it. Okay. I actually don't. What? Like it. No, I gave it a two. No, one point five. I think you gave it higher than that. I don't Did know. I give it a recap. two? We're gonna recap. This woman doesn't even know. But yeah, so, so thank you guys. Oh, we're not for... done. What? How are we not done? We have to finish our wine. We can't do it after the video. No, that we told. We said no video left with wine unfinished no but like our after video video like of me chugging the reds last week we're just gonna put them down the hatch and i mean we can't just drag on the video just to finish the wine we're not gonna drag it on exactly so it's like thank you Mm -mm. stay tuned after the video to watch us finish these wines yeah or we can just do it right now on spot okay I'm doing red first because I, it's my least favorite. And then I'm going to finish with the white. Shout out mixed. Make sure you guys... Follow, like, subscribe. Follow our Instagram and our Twitter. Mixed underscore FTL. Got the link right there. Let's just say that a little bit slower. Mixed underscore FTL. Cheers, Julio. Wow. Oh, it's alcohol abuse. I'm sure that was horrible. <laughs> that's why I tried to take my gulps. I like red wine, though. I feel uh, like that soccer mom that's like, oh, wait, it's four o'clock? <gasps> I gotta go get the kids. 
Ooh, that was a rough one. Yeah, okay. I got. I ate way too much Parmesan with that last bite. I've learned my lesson. Oh, little fun fact of last week. So like I said, I don't like wine. Do you want to know who finished both bottles of wine? Sorry, it's hot in here. Are you sweating? I don't know, am I? I'm a champion! <laughs> I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I thought he was being sarcastic. I don't know, am I? <laughs> I don't know. It's a dark gray shirt. It's 81 degrees in here, which I think I've said at the beginning of this video. It's really hot. Okay. You left yourself so much oh wine. You need gosh. to get better at periodical drinking. I thought we were trying it. I didn't think we were chugging yeah. each We try. said we were going to finish. Wowzer trousers. Oh my gosh. Did you finish my soft cheese? There's one more piece left. But no, yeah, but I, wow. I put okay. it on a cracker. It's not bad. It's not bad on a you, cracker. You're talking mess. Like, it's good on a cracker. By Dang, itself, I don't it's even not have good. white. Well, that is a twisty cap, so that's nice. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait, don't leave yet. Stop. You guys have to see what we got for the wines. So this deoxidizes the wine. So you push this button. Wait. This what? Wait. It's a, it's like a cork. It's a cap. Yeah. You know, so a wine the bottle cork, plug. But this, this is what I like the most. This comes with it. This is how you, you pull the oxygen out. And for someone dirty minded like me, this makes me think of something you could buy at a store like a Spencer's. Maybe someone who's not so confident in the heat that they're packing per se. I don't understand. What are you talking Maybe about? Maybe you just need to spice up your life in the bedroom. Maybe you need to put your wiener in the tube and pump it up a little bit. What would that be called? That's called a penis pump. Oh, okay. Penis pump. Penis pump. No one's going to want to listen to that. Penis pump. So anyways, the more you pump it, you can feel it getting a lot more resistance because it's taking the air out. And it's supposed to help your wine last longer. Um, and then at the very top of the cap, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a button and it says push. And when you push it, it releases the air like you heard when we opened it before we replugged it. Yeah, it so it's super cool. We also got that from Jungle Gyms. That place is freaking amazing. And I actually will uh, link that as well in the description just in case you guys are interested. Um, it may not necessarily be the exact one that we got or from Jungle Gyms, but it'll be one similar. So, yeah. Want you to do it? No. I just ate some cheese. Back up. <laughs> I gave her the option. Thanks for tuning in. So, wait. Quick recap. Because I don't remember what our grades were, so I'm just going to put their scores on. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. We yes. appreciate your love and support. A ton. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Lachey. And thanks, thanks for, for day, day drinking with, with us on a Wednesday. Wednesday. See you on the flip side. Peace! Bye! I'm going to cut that part out. Penis pump. Cut. And thanks, thanks for, for day getting... drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Got to introduce yourself. I'm James. No, I'm not. Yes, Stop. he is. Yes, he is. No, yes, he is. Okay, we're starting over. No, I like that. No. Nope. Oh, my God. No. Nope. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Lachey. And we're, and we're getting, getting drunk, drunk on a day drinking... It's Wednesday. What do we say? Four, and then we'll go to three, so I know it's the right one. Two, one. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's hot. Okay. <laughs> Two. Are we actually <laughs> We're recording.
Okay, I just wanted to make sure. You go, are we recording? <laughs>